Okay, this presentation uh, is on something called Performance Point Services and specifically what we're looking at here is a dashboard uh, which has been created using the Dashboard Designer tool and this is part of SharePoint uh, Enterprise 2010 or in this case uh, SharePoint Enterprise 2013. So what we're looking at here is a fairly basic uh, dashboard for NAPLAN performance uh, for a given school. Uh, this is all uh, demo data um, and essentially what I'd like to do uh, is just show you some of the uh, flexibility as a business user uh, we can get uh, from a, uh, a dashboard uh, such as this. So just to explain the parts of the dashboard here I'll just scroll down just a little uh, we've got some filters here uh, for the NAPLAN test year, in this case 2010, and then optionally we've got the, uh, the ability to change the test year level uh, that we're looking at, and then both of these would filter uh, the appropriate uh, elements within both of these reports here. Now, uh, if I just concentrate on this uh, report over here on the left-hand side for a moment, this is simply breaking down uh, for the given year and test year level for the school, uh, the performance, the band performance uh, for that school. So the number of students that were in uh, band one, uh, if we mouse over there, we can get the percentage uh, through to band uh, six and, and so forth. Now, this particular graph uh, is using a year as a dimension um, for the, uh, the filter here, uh, sorry, for the series. So using the mouse, I can simply click on that which will then break down that band by the NAPLAN test year level. So within each of those, I can see now um, the, uh, the, the year breakdown for those. So I can see here, uh, just at a rough glance, for band six, we had our highest percentage in 2011. Uh, and, and again, if I mouse over, I can see that was 21.56%. Um, this year was 11.8, which was 2010, and so on for the other years. Uh, now, one of the other things I can do if I need to uh, drill down into, let's say, for example, 2011, and I wanted to see that in more detail by gender, I can right-click and choose Drill Down 2, and you can see that I can basically drill down to any uh, dimension that's available to me in the cube. Um, I can, as a business user, choose exactly how to do this. As a developer, I don't need to uh, code this up front. Um, this is just an automatic feature that's available to a business user through Performance Point. So let's, for example, uh, drill down to gender. And what I'm doing now is for the, you can see the information bar here. So for 2011, um, I have now drilled that down uh, by the gender. And I can see again at a, at a rough glance that in band six, uh, females 26.1% uh, compared to the males at 15% for that particular band. Um, I can also do things like uh, right click and dynamically change the report type. Um, to a line chart, for example. Um, all of this is, uh, is dynamic. Again, I don't need to uh, code this up front as a developer. This is automatic. Um, and I can also do things like uh, click up here and say export to PowerPoint or Excel. Now, just going over to the right-hand side here now with the uh, NAPLAN scorecard. Uh, again, for the, uh, the school, uh, which is the demo school, and this uh, has dynamic security built into the dashboard. So I'm logged on to this dashboard now as a principal at that demo school, so um, that would explain why I can only see that school. Uh, optionally, if I was a, someone from head office or an area coordinator, I might have a filter at the top here which allowed me to choose what school I wanted to visualize. Now this is simply saying uh, for the uh, chosen school and the test year level and then within each of the NAPLAN strands I can see what the average NAPLAN score was and then compare that to the school group average, the Queensland average and the national average and we're using a fairly basic KPI visualization here so where green is uh, good performance, yellow is uh, you know okay and red is an underperformance. So I can see that for year five for all of the strands are doing fairly well um, for year three, uh, there's some areas of concern there. So as an example of that, what I can do uh, is click on, for example, grammar and punctuation, uh, an average of 387, which was 6% below the group average, 3% below the Queensland average, and 7% below the national average. Uh, when we're creating the dashboard in the Dashboard Designer tool, we have the flexibility to uh, designate what those particular threshold values are between good average and bad. We can also choose colors and the icons that we uh, wish to visualize for the KPIs. Now let's say for example I wanted to discover some more detail behind that number there, 387. What I can do is right click and choose decomposition tree 
and what I can now do is break that down again through any dimension in the cube. So as an example of that, an average of 388, let's for example break that down uh, by gender. So males had an average of 363 compared to females at 420. Again, I can break that down, uh, for example, by the class. So the 3S class uh, had an average of 344 compared to 23D with an average of 410. And if I wanted to, I could go all the way down to the individual students, and we're just using um, some fake names here, student 1, 2, 3, and so forth. Uh, what I can see quite clearly, though, is that these uh, number of students down the bottom here are dragging down not just the class average, but the gender average and the average of the school. So this is a really good way that we can uh, take something at a fairly high level such as this and then as a business user we can really drill down to the area of interest that we have. And once again this was a tool uh, called Performance Point Services which is part of SharePoint Enterprise 2010 or 2013 uh, and the tool used to create this dashboard is called Dashboard Designer and Dashboard Designer is not a developer tool, it's designed for power users or business users uh, to fairly simply create dashboards uh, such as this one on screen.